Hi guys, we are back from Gothenburg and we saw some really cool stuff and we were at Universeum, which is a really cool place in Gothenburg that has tons of different species, not tons like a big zoo and such, but they have quite a few reptiles and also a lot of fish, like uh, tropical fish, some fish I have never seen before in real life. I have read about them, but I have never actually seen them. And so just a few days ago was my birthday and that's why my fiance took me to Gothenburg and just so, just so we can go to this place and also a few aquarium stores and reptile stores. So today I'm going to take you with me to Gothenburg to the Universeum Aquarium slash Reptilarium. My name is Jennifer and you're watching Fishy Pet Keeping. Stay tuned! is just how big red-tailed catfish get. They really don't belong in your standing home aquarium. They belong in big ponds or in zoos, like this one. Same with Arapaima. They can grow to a whopping 3 meters, which is about 10 feet. This was the first time I saw an Arapaima in real life. Are you ready? <laughs> there were some really nice looking saltwater tanks here. This was one of my favorites. We saw a tank with stingrays and I believe some kind of cat shark. I would love to have a saltwater tank in the future. Inland Taipan. They're supposed to be the most venomous snake in the world. That is so cool. And this is a really beautiful king cobra. Apparently, she was very active today. So we got to see her moving around a lot more. Mm. It was so much fun to see her climbing and just exploring the enclosure. She's about three and a half meters, or a little less than 12 feet. These are Ethiopian mountain adders. They kind of resemble the gaboon viper in my opinion. And gaboon vipers are one of my favorite snakes. Then 
Monster. <laughs> they had healing monsters. They are venomous lizards, but you shouldn't be scared of them. They're docile, and they will only use their venom if they fear for their life. Unfortunately though, because they are venomous, people fear them and kill them because of that. You can see different invertebrates, such as crickets. Walking leaves or leaf insects. Now we're entering the rainforest area. Here you see some blurry piranhas. <laughs> The Scarlet Ibis are in my opinion one of the most beautiful birds. They're striking red color, long beaks and medium sized body. You can't tell me this isn't one of the prettiest birds you've seen. There were some huge tropical plants here, like Monsteras, Philodendron, Bird of Paradise, just to name a few. This is a flounder whiptail catfish. A real oddball. And I think I'm gonna name him Pancake. And some adorable Corridoras. There was a big and beautiful poison dart frog enclosure too. Did you know that dart frogs get their poison from the food they eat? So if you have them in captivity, they aren't poisonous. Still don't lick them, please. The Toucan wanted to show off his beak, oh so pretty! There were two huge silver arowanas too. They look so majestic while swimming so confidently along the water surface. <laughs> and now we're heading home.
And so I had a really nice time down there in Gothenburg. I was really grateful. I got some spider wood. I got some... No, I didn't get any rocks, but I got some aquarium soil for my future project for my 5.5 gallon. And so stay tuned for that. And if you want to see that setup, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button in order to not miss that video. And hit that notification bell also so you don't miss any notifications. And you don't do all that stuff. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. It really helps this channel a lot. Leave a comment if you want to say anything. And uh, yeah, just like this video, subscribe if you want to see more and hit that notification bell just so you don't miss a single update. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!